Hey, listen, we're going to start getting our food on here at Bubba's. I mean, this is a busy time for you guys, but yeah. the food is what makes, I, I feel like, I mean, I feel like so many people ready to eat whenever you're out, maybe St. Patrick's, you know, it just makes everything better. And it makes everything a little more comfortable. You can come in, start watching the games, get a little nibble, because you're going to be here for a couple of hours, <laughs> especially with the games going on, especially with our signature cocktails, our green beer, our four leaf clover, any kind of drink we have and any kind of food. You're going to come in and watch the game and sit for a while. So we want you to have a good variety of food that comes out to you, no matter what you are craving, wings, fish, sandwiches, we got it all here. You do you do all that? There's things that I've never seen before. Yes, right now, we, got, we this is our shotgun shrimp. This is very one of our popular items. It is our, our lightly breaded shrimp and then topped with green onions and in a cream sauce. Has a little kick to it, but it keeps you warm, especially if it's gonna be colder these next couple of days, only in the high of 40s. This will be something that'll keep you warm, but it also has something to eat on the bottom once you finish the chips, because those are our potato straws. Oh, yeah. See, I thought, is that onions under there? What is that? It is potato straws, and they, you can kind of, it kind of gives a little more crunch to it, because I'm the type of person that likes to eat, and I need a chip <laughs> to eat with it. I like that whole crunch value. So, but we also have our homemade onion rings here. We make these to order. We batter them in stores. So as soon as they come out, boom, we batter them, we fry them, and they come out perfect. And you're always going to get a big order of onion rings. These suckers are perfect. You don't find the little small ones, the broken ones. They come out looking like that, and these are delicious. And I'm, glad, I'm glad you said that, because that does happen other places. Yes. And you're like, what is what happening? What is this? Yeah, this is a spoon or something. <laughs> but it also comes with our signature sauce that we have, our Bubba sauce. This actually we make in-house. So pretty much like everything you see here, we batter, we make in-house. Everything's pretty much where as close you can get to a scratch kitchen as possible. Oh. Oh, I gotcha. And then you can't go wrong with pickles. Oh my God, pickles are great. <laughs> you gotta try one and see how it tastes. These are pickles. They're actually golden fried and they're golden to perfection today. Listen, do you, do you mind if I try one? Go ahead. Um, listen, I love fried pickles. They smell so good. There so, and then our um, ranch is homemade here as well. So they're we don't, very good. Yeah, we not we don't leave anything left. We get like, the best for our guests that come in. Like I, I love said, the batter. The batter, the batter is, is important. Yeah, it's very light and it's very crisp when you actually fry it. It doesn't come out soggy or anything, but it's very crisp and it's very good to the taste buds. And the pickle uh, makes your nose wiggle a little bit. Wow. Well, yeah. So does, so does the green beer, but we'll talk about that later. But we also have our queso dip here, and it comes with our spicy ch chorizo sauce and our pico on it. And then we have our chips that we fry up in-house as well, and also with the homemade salsa. Oh, so yeah. yeah, this is just something you can just pick on and just keep going until you're ready for a meal and ready to get down to eat. Well, take us over here because there's something that I had no idea, Keith. I didn't know that y'all did fish and chips. Absolutely. We're definitely your place for Lent with our homemade, uh, our, we make our beer batter in-house. It's a fresh cod that, that uh, we do here. Uh, amazing product. French fries and coleslaw, uh, homemade tartar sauce that, that we make in-house uh, as well. Uh, you know, we've also got our cheese fries there. We make the queso that, that is put on there. We do a blend of cheese also, as Michael said, the ranch is, is made in-house as well. Uh, that ranch is something else. You're is. right. You're right. It's actually very good. And even our blue cheese. People, I know some people don't like blue cheese, but ours actually has the blue cheese crumbles in it. So when we make our, our blue cheese dressing. Okay. And wings, something I think everybody orders a lot of. I think it's a go-to. Do you think? Uh, wings are one of my favorite things. Uh, here or anywhere I go, I probably eat wings more than I do anything else. Uh, and, and I think we've got some of the best wings in town. Uh, I think, Michael, you put barbecue sauce on these yes, today. Yes, honey barbecue. Oh, honey barbecue. So, That's popular. It is. It's actually sweet, but it does have a little bit of spice to it. And that I think we changed our recipe around to kind of give it a sweeter taste, but also a little kick to it, but not much where you're going to be like, oh, I can't, I need milk. You know, <laughs> it's going to be a good one that actually gives it flavoring. And like I said, dipping with our homemade ranch sauce. And then you got the side of celery to kind of cut the little edge on if there is one on there. Well, let me ask you this. This pizza looks so good. The crust, everything. How do you how do you do this? This is incredible. So, so pizza is a very uh, it's what we do is, is different than most of others that are in town with pizza. Our dough is made from scratch. Uh, the best dough is usually going to be three days old. That it gives the yeast and everything time to get active, uh, because as we all know, yeast is an active. There's a live ingredient. All of our toppings are fresh. We make our Italian sausage, we, we cut the veggies fresh, we're doing it all in-house. We're making this pizza as you order it. It's just a very special product that we take a lot of pride in, making sure that we deliver uh, the best pizza to everybody every time. What if I'm having a party at home? What if I, do, I mean, if I'm saying, hey, listen, we got a lot of people. We're doing St. Patrick's Day at home. Do you do y'all have uh, packs or 
or we, catering? We, we do have catering. You can go and give us a call. Make sure you give us a call, you know, earlier, as early as possible. You know, just give us a call. Let us know. We can do burger bars. We can do pizza bars. We can do salads, uh, uh, grilled chicken salad bars. You know, we do all these things already for other businesses in town. You know, the burger bar, we do the patty and the burger separately and put all the lettuce, tomato, and onion on the side. We do trays of fries that go with it. That way, we just take it out there, put them in front of your guests, y'all tear it up. And same thing with our pizzas. We can do our 16-inch pizzas. We can do different kinds. You know, this is just one of the many pizzas we have on our list. And same thing with our wing platters. And also, if you want to be more healthy, we can do a salad bar where we can do grilled chicken or tender salad on it. And all the salad goes on the side, dressing goes on the side. And you go and just make what you want and you put what you need on it. I love that. Well, I just love the place where you can come and bring everyone in your family. And I just love that you love Amarillo. And again, I want to touch on Special Olympics. Why? Tell me why for you, Michael, and, and this whole crew. I know Keith said it really well a while ago. You really want to help, but what is it about Special Olympics? Well, I think that the first time I ever saw Special Olympics, I actually had to drive to Boys Ranch because that's where they were doing the first tournament. And they called us and asked if we ever want to do donations. So we said, you know what? We'll donate the lettuce, tomatoes, onions for all burgers for them. Sure. So I drove out there, I watched the games, and these athletes are just so passionate. They are so driven. They have so much pride and enjoyment just out there participating. I'm like, you know what? I want to be a part of this. So when I came back, it just stuck in my head. And I think after about a month or so, I finally reached out to Jeanette Thorne, which is the head you know, of this local chapter. And I just started talking like, hey, we want to be able to be involved in this because we want to, I want to feel like we're helping them get their, you know, their rewards yeah, and actually sure. accomplishing what they want. So we just, I just started diving in. We started with just one down and donate, then it started with this. <laughs> We actually had people from Advil that were working for us at a time before COVID. So we had them coming in, taking pride in their job. You know, Elizabeth was one of our hosts that became a trainer that did to goes. Oh, she yay. didn't care about any of her disabilities. She worked on it. We had other people being essays and working where they possibly can. So I think it's a good thing that we take part of it as a company and also as a community to show these athletes that, you know, it's not just them. It's us joining together to help you achieve what you want to achieve in life. I love it. Michael, thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Uh, always so sweet. Next week, tip a cop, uh, March 20th, all the way through the 25th. We and, appreciate you. And you can go on our Bubba's Facebook and Amarillo and look, and they'll have this, the flyer on there saying which days are we doing for the tip a cop. Perfect. Uh, Keith, thanks for having us. You got you got a cool place here. And, and uh, I want to find out there's some bar stools. I've seen lots of pictures. There's um, kind of a cowboy, and then there's kind of a saloon girl, and you set in them and kind of... We need to start selling those. We need to have those everywhere. Those are so fun. Absolutely. Maybe get a couple for our homes. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Thank you. For uh, now. What a fun time. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Back to uh, everything. Second cup here in just a little bit.